Yeah, what up, you guys? If you've purchased an Afterglow AX.1 for to use on your Windows computer, you know you're going to get an error. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. Um, I'm gonna pl I uninstalled the driver, so let's hopefully I can redo it all for you guys without the issue. Let me try to shove it in. It sounded dirty. Uh, make sure it's all hooked up. I want to get the error for you guys. Um, you should be getting this. Let's see. Uh, well, you should get an error saying it's not installed and then it's not going to work. You know, you might not get any messages about it. I should. I'm supposed to. La la la. Let's give it a couple seconds. I doubt I'm going to get anything. But I'm going to show you guys how to fix this issue uh, with a very simple fix. Um, I'll put all the links on the bottom. Do not worry. Um, so plug in your controller. So you know you know it's not working. A uh, good way to tell when it's working is if you know a uh, Xbox 360 controller is uh, lit up on the what do you want to call it? The as you know controller one it'll light up. You'll see that little bright light. Um, simply same as this one. But I'm gonna show you guys how to simply fix this. So you're gonna want to go to Microsoft.com/hardware. Um, then you're gonna want to go to download support software for Microsoft game controllers and gaming mice and keyboards products. Uh, you're gonna want to choose the product, which is a controller or type, and then choose your product. This is a controller for Windows. If it's a wireless, um, they're gonna have to find out how to do it uh, another way because there's a lot of different things about it. Um, so controller for Windows uh, operating system. You choose what yours is. Um, Mine's a Windows 7 64-bit. Uh, let me see if you could tell through here. Let's see. Manage. I don't know if you're supposed to click manage or not. We'll see. Come on, baby. Nope, wrong one. Uh, property. There we go. You can look here for any info. Of course, you would 100% hopefully know that you do have Windows 7. If you don't, you're dumb. Um, but anyways, then your operating system language, of course mine is English, because I speak English a little bit. What? Um, and here is the software that's available for your product, so we're going to download it. Um, save it. I already have it. Oh, I might have installed it already. I'll install it anyways. It might say it's already installed though, let's see. Run. It's already installed. Okay, well it's installed after you're done installing it. Then you're going to want to go to your device manager, device manager, and you should see an air right here, Afterglow Gamepad for Xbox 360, under other devices. If you see, there's, I believe, an exclamation mark. I don't think you can zoom in on Windows, can you? Um, no, wow, no you can't. On Mac you could hold, uh, I think it's control and scroll up and it zooms in, it's nice. But you see, there's a problem here, it's not working, so we're going to want to back click, click properties, you're going to see here also, um, device, devices are not installed, the drivers, so you're going to want to go to update driver, browse my computer, and of course you need to install that other one, the, the one you just downloaded. And let me pick from a list of uh, things, you're going to want to find um, it always takes me a minute to find it. I, I Even though I've done this like 80 times, it takes me like freaking 10 minutes to find it for some reason. You're going to want to find your um, your controller. For some reason I'm really bad at this lately. Um, give me a minute. Hmm. I told you I'm very bad at this. Oh, here it is. You're going to want to find Microsoft Common Controller for Windows Classic. We're going to click next and it's going to give you a list and you mainly want the one you installed which is version I think it's 2.1 but I choose I choose it by the newest date. Um, you could also do wireless receiver if you have a wire if you actually have the wireless um, Windows um, like gamers games for Windows wireless receiver for your wireless controller you could actually install that um, and charge and play kit. Hmm. I might try to do that with my other controller and maybe make another video. But anyways, uh, you're gonna want to um, for the Afterglow one. You're gonna want to choose a controller for Windows um, version. You choose the newest one. I just installed it, so it. Um, you just look for the newest one. I don't know. Click next, and it says installing this. You know, not recommended because Windows cannot verify the compatibility with your hardware. Install it anyways, mother effer. What? Sorry. 
how to answer that. Anyways, um, you're going to see when it has successfully updated your driver. So we're going to click close. And now I should say this device is working properly. Close it. And if you see here, now where it says Afterglow or under Other, now it should say Microsoft Common Controller for Windows Classic. And it says Xbox 360 Controller for Windows. So we're going to close out of this. Um, I really wish I had Fraps installed. Well, I do have it installed, but I don't want the watermarks. I hate watermarks. So I'm actually going to try to show you. Hmm. But if you just look at your controller, obviously you should be able to just look at it. You should see a lit up controller. Let me see if this works. No, it doesn't. Um, of controller number one, the light on. Um, I, I would confirm it with you, but I'm 100% guaranteed it does work. Make sure you choose everything correctly, and then you would have a controller. Also, for me, I'm not sure if anyone else has this problem. I have an issue with um, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Conviction. I have to use the keyboard and mouse. For some reason, the I, I have to try it again. I reinstalled it because I recovered my computer. For some reason, it just like the controls are mess messed up really uh, like a lot. I'm not sure why. But it may have been an error that maybe is fixed now. I have to try it. I have to reinstall this uh, program. I'm having issues with it. So, yeah. Um, make sure you guys try this. It would work if it doesn't work. I believe you have like 14 or 30 days to take back controller to GameStop. Um, if it doesn't work, then I don't know what to say. But this does work. So hopefully you guys find this helpful. Make sure you subscribe. Alright, everybody. Peace out.